first of all, well, you, you look into proton therapy technology and, and, and that's the, the main thing. And we, we selected IBA because it suited best to, to our situation. And then, okay, you look around for a TPS system. And at that point, and, and we're still convinced of that Ray station is, is really a, a powerful uh, TPS system that we wanted in our, in our clinic. And then, well, we, we have the vision that TPS and OIS should be well integrated. I think that's the future. Uh, it's a very complex process, radiation oncology, and um, we need powerful software to support that. And the integration between OIS and TPS is really key. So then we, uh, we ended up uh, looking into Raycare and we saw uh, how this was built up around the workflow and, and building on top of this workflow, supporting uh, this, this complex processes in the clinic. So this is why we ended up with that combination, basically. Oh, we've been able to start up a proton therapy facility. Uh, so we started in uh, June, uh, and by now we, uh, we treated nine patients, uh, including uh, children uh, under anesthesia. And uh, we recently also started with multi-isocenter uh, craniospinal radiations. Um, and that's only possible if you have a good, uh, a good uh, integration between your OIS and, and your system. Um, so I think yeah, for the past uh, six years, that's, that's uh, well, in my opinion, quite an achievement uh, to start up this proton therapy project. Um, and for that, we could only do it based on or using uh, a good uh, software solution. So in Belgium, um, only the so-called standard indications are reimbursed um, by uh, the government. So we focus on these uh, standard indications in our uh, facility at the moment. Uh, so that's uh, pediatric cases, um, that's uh, base of skull, the, well, the so-called standard indications in, in proton therapy. Um, and um, in the future, well, right now we started basically with intracranial uh, lesions. Uh, and now we're moving towards uh, other indications um, for proton therapy within this standard indication um, definition. And then of course as well, uh, clinical studies that are about to be started up in uh, the near future, such as for example, esophagus, but uh, other studies will be started as well um, in 2021, 2022. Well, for the patient, it's important that they can be treated locally and they don't have to travel abroad for proton therapy. Small children that we treat can go uh, home uh, to their family uh, every night and that makes a huge difference uh, for the patients. I think every project uh, has its own priorities. But certainly for us, I think in combination with, uh, with the IBA system, it is a, it's a good solution. Um, and um, it's an early product, uh, Raycare, but it's a platform with, uh, with potential. Uh, that's what we saw in the beginning, and that's still the case. Um, and that we are building based on that uh, platform, uh, a solution that gives us for the future uh, more efficiency and and uh, a streamlined workflow. Um, so that's what I would tell people uh, on where we are and, and how we see the future of, uh, of this platform. In the future, we'll, we'll need powerful software to support new ways of doing proton therapy, going towards hypofractionation using this flash technology, um, moving towards online uh, adaptive uh, workflows, for example. So we need AI, machine learning technologies to be well integrated into the software that uh, to support this, this online uh, approach. And that's, that's really going to be key uh, for the future of proton therapy.